Hey guys, what's going on? So I wanted to real quick show you how to embed your, um, I was just looking up some stuff on YouTube about it too, but I was looking up, uh, how to embed your Google maps page on your website with Elementor. So first you find your business on Google maps and right here where the map is, you just click it. When you click it, all this stuff will come up uh, right here. Where it says share, click that and it'll come up. This is to share your, your site. You want to click on embed map. When you click on that, it'll come up like this. Now right here, however big, like you can go custom size, large, whatever. I'm just going to make it small. Cause literally what I've been doing is I'm creating city pages. Those city pages will show, I, I, this is a brand new website, right? Maybe six months old. I'm working on it for something to do in the wintertime, doing some junk removal. And right here, I'm going to click copy HTML. That's going to copy the code, right? But you want to make city pages. Those city pages are basically the keywords you want to rank for along with the city name. Um, let me see here. If you if you go on my website and you come down to uh, any of these, these are all clickable links going out to different cities for my service area and those cities are then in the h1 header so junk removal and demo services free poor pa that's what i want to rank for my h1 now this isn't this is a new site and i haven't had time to work on it because i'm always pressure washing but uh i need to get more h2s on here at least a few more h2s for keywords i want to rank for for junk removal and stuff but we'll go to um this is Butler here. Um, this is a place I want to rank. So I want my not only my website to rank. I want my uh, I want my Google business page to rank also. This is just something that helps. There's so much you need to do. You need citations. You need it, it, there's a lot of ranking factors with Google. And honestly, if you're in with like junk removal and stuff, there it's a dime a dozen business right everywhere. So without relevancy for location, you're not going to rank in the area. You, like if you're not top three, you may as well. Nobody's really calling you too much. You're gonna have to run ads. You're gonna have to run Google ads, Google guaranteed ads. So on Elementor, come here, click the HTML embed, and then it'll come up to where you can paste the code. As soon as you paste the code, boom, it's on there. Update. Uh, I just did Apollo, and you can see it's up and running. Showtime at the Apollo, baby. Pretty soon, hopefully, I can bring my ranking up for junk removal in Apollo, but you need backlinks. This site doesn't really have backlinks yet. And just like, so backlinks are basically votes for Google, but they're not all the same. Some look like voter fraud when you're on spammy websites. Sometimes spammy websites will link to your website to pull authority from your website. Cause if your website's good, high ranking, you know what I mean? Like right here, I'm, I'm citing, um, I'm gonna, I'm citing uh, Wikipedia to pull authority from them. I'm not backlinking and I'm not, it's not plagiarism. It's just citing uh, verbiage for Apollo and it's all geotags and stuff. So it's, it's pulling some serious authority from Wik Wikipedia. But if I were to go get a bunch of spammy websites or spammy backlinks and lower my DA, they're going to get hurt from that. So they're going to get rid of me. They're going to disavow me. Um, so you want to get really good quality backlinks and all a backlink is, is it's a blog article. They they will, whatever keywords, like say I want to ring for junk removal near Apollo, they'll write a blog article and then they'll embed my website in junk removal in, near Apollo, wherever that is said in that blog article, and then put it on good sites, uh, niche relevant sites, and then pff, pulls my, my ranking up. And then there's so much more than just that, but that's the gist of it really. And... What I found out is sometimes your competitor, or not your competitors, but like even just SEO, sleazy SEO scumbags that want to, you know, want to sign you up for 300 bucks a month or whatever. Not all of them are sleazy. There's some good ones out there. But I uh, I recently just, I never heard of an SEO attack, but I guess somebody got me a bunch of bad backlinks so that they could call me and be like, hey man, you want some SEO? I can make your website rank higher. I'm not showing up. Meanwhile, my pressure washing website ranks really well. But I had to go, you go to Fiverr, there's somebody on there that will, um, 
basically see what scam what spammy sites you're on then you gotta go to google search console you gotta disavow them it's a bunch of bs but you gotta keep up to date on it and wherever there's money there's snakes so you gotta keep up to date on it but you can see this looks like crap <laughs> and i don't have many h2s and i'm just putting it together i don't have that much time i should have used a template if you're doing it like i am you should use a template it makes it look nicer cleaner uh more more just more professional because even though i'm not using this as a business card i want to rank that's all i care about i want to rank even though i'm not using it as a business card i still basically you know i still want it to look nice for the customer but you can see right here like my h1 what i want to rank for is right here and then i actually got a couple h1s i heard it's not horrible too and then i got a bunch of h2s just other stuff i want to rank for and then i got some service pages to where it'll take you to a different page on roof cleaning because that's something i want to rank for <laughs> but more and more it doesn't matter uh your website ranks people are going to business or to google maps to find it so you want your google my business to rank over everything the thing that sucks is relevancy is very important so if you don't if you don't live inside your uh your your area you know that you want to be ranking for then it, it doesn't matter like location relevancy does matter if you're in a very saturated area some like there's been so many people lately they're like oh it don't matter the heck it don't location definitely definitely matters if you're in um an area that's got like 50 pressure washers and you live 40 miles away from the, the location that everybody wants to work in, you're not going to rank there. I mean, unless you use like a shared workspace or something, from the best of my knowledge, take everything I say with the grain of salt, but from the best of my knowledge, you ain't going to rank there. And But you can do like Google guaranteed ads, stuff like that to help out. I'm just talking now. So, but yeah, that's how you put maps. That's how you embed your maps and embed them on all your city pages and it will help.